Hi, it's Ed here from Dirt Magazine, and we're just going to have a quick look at free hub bodies, the various different designs that are out there, and also hopefully um, put an end to your fears about taking them apart and seeing that they're actually quite simple to look after. Uh, we'll start with a classic Ratchet and Paul uh, design, which a lot of quality um, cartridge bearing hubs use. Uh, this one's a Hope one, and Inside we have four uh, poles that are on leaf springs. This is uh, much better designed than the old system that Hope used, which had loose poles and springs, and basically if it came off, they went everywhere all over the floor and were much more difficult to put back together. They're still, still not that complicated, but this system's much easier. Um, very reliable system, and but doesn't have the quickest pickup, which takes us on to the next. We have the design which quite a few companies are using like Halo and Superstar um, and as you can hear from the noise it's got a very fine pickup so very fast um, and it's sort of similar in the way that it's these could sort of be looked at as poles but they actually have micro sort of serrations on them uh, and in here there's an equally fine serrated uh, ratchet. Um, and that's what gives the really fine pickup. Again, it's proved to be a pretty reliable system. Uh, as long as you keep it cleaned and lubed up, it'll work a treat. Then we go on to quite a different system, which DT use. Um, and this, instead of using a ratchet and pull, uses two clutch plates, which um, one sits inside a spline in the hub body, one sits inside a spline in the uh, free hub body and both are sprung together and um, they basically spin against each other and they've got teeth here which interlock so they can spin like that and unlock and then when you pedal they engage um, the only thing with this system is to make sure that you keep these grooves really quite clean because if you get a lot of grit in there these springs aren't particularly powerful and it can cause the uh, the clutch plate to not engage properly. <laughs> then, finally, we'll go on to uh, what many would consider to be the Rolls Royce hubs, uh, Chris King. And on the surface, it looks quite similar in some ways to the DT and the fact that it uses two clutch plates. On this system, though, only one is sprung and the other one's fixed. The really unique thing about the Chris King is the ring drive system which has an angled spline which as you put torque through the free hub body the, the clutch plate slides at an angle and engages even tighter so the more force you put through your pedals the tighter that clutch plate engages so slipping is something that basically doesn't happen with these hubs if i take it apart you can see it a bit clearer there's these angled splines here that the clutch plate slides down so yeah as I said as you put more force it slides down and engages even tighter um, the other thing that makes the Chris King hub quite so special people always wonder why they cost so much um, is all the bearings inside are custom made bearings you've got needle roller bearings in this part of the free hub body and then another uh, roller bearing uh, ball bearing one further deeper in and basically it's just all extremely high quality and high tolerance uh, and will last you for years. You might be wondering why I've been able to pull all these free hub bodies off so easily um, without using any tools but basically all the hubs have these little end caps. Um, a lot of them like the Hope and the DT they just pull off, simply pull off and then other ones just need a spanner and they just unscrew and once you've undone that the free hub body will literally pull off and if you clean and maintain it you're far less likely to have any problems whilst out on the trail so it's worth doing um, that's it for today i hope you learned something see you next time